I wanted to teach people my martial arts style, which is a uh, MMA, really. It's all Asian stuff. I just do, I do a lot of Asian stuff, but I've been doing it since I was a little kid. And so my style is, <laughs> is extremely violent. It's, uh, it's weird, you know, like Aikido is a really pretty form. Like Judo is really beautiful when you watch this. It's just really fun. Like, uh, you know, the most beauty that you can have is you have like a couple of girls doing Judo and that, that would be really pretty. But it's all like ballet and what I do is extremely violent. I'm a retired bare fist boxer. You know, I never did it professionally, but my brother and I beat the hell out of each other and I've got a mug shot where I'm covered in blood. And it's just so ridiculous what we used to do to each other before we had to retire because we got too strong and too fast. <laughs> too fast, too furious, huh? And try that angle. So anyway, this is the thing. <laughs> This is the thing in the situation. I'm trying to figure out how to tell you this. Uh, it's, a, it's a worthless message, but anyway. I like saying, but anyway, you know, because uh, I like girls and stuff like that. Wait, wait, wait. Not like the gross way. You know, the gross way, is that that's a little bit too extreme. Yeah, but but anyway, yeah, so I'm like fighting with my my bro and then um, I found out that we just got too fast and my brother is so fat. He's just wick he's getting wicked fast these days and he's, he he was a bouncer at a bar and he saved some dudes the uh, one a uh, family friend of ours he saved him from dying cuz some dude he was like uh pulled out a clip for, uh, like a magazine and uh and he's like yeah this is what I'm going to use on you I'll tell you what my brother He's all like, no, you won't. I love my brother. Like, he's really strong. And uh, we, we fight all the time. When we don't want to fight, we fight each other. When we're feeling like, even when we got hangovers, you want to fight? The answer is no. Right, let's fight. We'll do it now. So, so I'm thinking about teaching people how to, you know, fight. And that you, you would know, but you're not going to know. Teaching my style of MMA. And there's a little boy I'm trying to figure out how his mind's working. And his dad, he says to him, he says, uh, he says to me, uh, he is, he's, he's talking, he's like, oh, he's not interested. And I, I know for a fact that he is. And I know for a fact that he just doesn't want to lose his son to like some brain bleeding incident. I, I told him, I said, hey, listen. He's good for MM, like not MMA, not not that way. He, he's good for the WWE that way. That's what he's really about because it's all dramatic and he loves it. Ever since he was a child, even his father into that sort of thing. And then he's thinking, ah, that's a career, you know. There's a lot of money in it, and he he's thinking, uh, yeah, maybe, right. And then this dad, uh, we go, anyway, this is a waste of time. What I wanted to tell you is uh, something about how I want to uh, shove a fucking pistol into your mouth. <laughs> Everybody watching, want to shove a pistol into your mouth and use your own mouth as a suppressor. No, 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 that's not the message. The message is like uh, either you fight or you die.